Hello everyone, this is FroDaddy09 bringing you content on a brand new game, Mafia 3. Now I know I've been gone for a while guys, and that's not by choice though. I just got down on my luck for a little while, but hey, I won't bore you with the details. And I'll just say, hey, thank you all for sticking with me. Now on to the game, okay? In this video, I'm going to show you my first or second gameplay as to give you guys a, a walkthrough video to help you better navigate the game. So as I know more, I will put more out there. But thank you for joining me. Let's get into it. So the story is fictional. It's based off the southern United States in the 60s, specifically New Orleans, which is called New Bordeaux. You play as the character Lincoln Clay. He's a military man just back from tours of duty overseas. And he comes home to a mess <clears throat> and joins the black mob. So I cut the cutscenes because I couldn't capture the audio, and they're also pretty long. So, so we pick it up here in the beginning of gameplay. Lincoln, pick up the keys. So on the first mission, you just got to get the keys. You're not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. He greased his partner to make it look good. If you got doubts? Why take the chance? So that's where you start. Just grab the keys. And uh, if you want to pick up an early trophy, you want to pick this guy up here, and you're going to... We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. You got to throw them in the river here. Watch what happens. So Square opens doors. This is for PS4 users anyway. Oh, oh we burning daylight. <laughs> you get a trophy for that your first playthrough. So you throw the guy in the river, he gets eaten by the alligators, and you gotta jump in the truck here and drive to the Federal Reserve. Now this game is really based on story, so I'll try to be quiet while they're talking. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, oh, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about, but not like he'll be able to spend it. Feds will be watching his every move for the rest of his life. <laughs> Probably be better we just whacked him. Well, if I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there, use them to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. So, come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand, and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP oh. stops and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says then? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some... Goop getting his dick blown off or son. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. Yeah, the story mode is just real raw in this, and there's there's a lot of heavy language, kind of like what they used back in the day, racist language and things like that, so be aware of that. Driving, uh, you know, when you first play, it's a little squirrely, kind of used to games like Grand Theft Auto. The driving's pretty similar to it. Um, you know, your handbrake's a little different. Guys at the Reserve uh, probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. The turning's a little bit different, so it takes a little bit to get used to, but you'll, you'll get the handle of it. 
L2 is reverse, R2 is drive. The and then you're just going to head to the reserve, and we're going to go ahead and cut it to where you get out of the truck, because there's a cut now scene there. About being hot. That's when we make our move. So the next one, right. uh, you're going to go in there, and you're, you're basically going to rob right, them. Here we so. go. This will give you a little hint of the racism back in the day. Coming up here in a second. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. All you gotta do is go over here and pick up the bags. How much y'all bring in? Tells you exactly what to do. Just hold down square to open doors and pick up things. I'll let Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. So enemies show up as red on your map. But police show up as cellar. blue. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. <laughs> y'all was over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. But ain't your nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. Finally opens the door. You bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. <laughs> So all you need to do here is take the bags over to the table, drop them off, Put and then uh, the table there. you're going to end up taking out the guard here. And all you got to do is just before. sneak up behind him, act bigger. like nothing's happening, the job done. and then you're going to hit circle for PlayStation users Fuck. to take them out. Some heat right there. He used to use coal for it, but he... Oh! God, that guy was an asshole. That had hurt. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> uh, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. No, I don't. I mean, yes, I do. <laughs> All right, so just sneak up to him here. You know that house we've been Make sure out? the other one isn't Don't looking. He's not looking right there, so I went ahead and took him out. To be out in two weeks. And then you want to the sit and wait a minute. Name's, uh, John. Starts laying Cause he's going to turn and walk right here. Gives them the right to a day notice. That's how he's Once he turns around again, then just sneak weeks. up behind him and so take him, him out. None of that's my Takedowns are pretty good in this. I do like that so far. Make sure you pick up as many weapons as you can. Then you want to open the vault. Then it goes to a cutscene, and then you end up taking the money, and you got to fend off the cops. So just take cover by holding X. Try to take them out before they move. That helps. Once they move, they get undercover, so it makes it a little tougher. The aiming and stuff is pretty much similar to Grand Theft Auto. might want to mess with the settings with it He's make it your own He's I got it set on medium shoot. difficulty on this All set to shoot. That's a nice little takedown 
Ah, I'm out in the open. I'm out in the open. Oh no. Hide. Get somewhere. Oh, guy coming on the side. Oh, oh. Not such a good shot yet, but it is the first level. And my second time playing the level, so. You can change your controls to aim assist or off, on, low, or high. I got mine set on low. I'm not sure what kind of a difference it makes. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! So right here, he can't get it open, so you gotta go help him. And you're getting into the armory to grab some better guns, because you're gonna have to fend off some security here right after this. So this lock system is kind of cool. Uh, it's a little different. It might, you know, be a bother later on. But basically, you just twist all the way around with your toggle until it hits green, hit square, and then make sure you hit that dial in the in the green as well. It's pretty simple. Might mess up once or twice, but after that, you are, you got it down. Couldn't figure out if I grabbed the right gun or not. So which one has more ammo? Ooh, that's a bigger gun. Yeah, that's the one we want. So yeah, that's the gun you want for sure. Now, as soon as you go out there, they're going to start coming. So get undercover. And what you want to do is try to take these guys out while they're in the smoke. And you get to the cutscene a lot faster. So once you see them pop up here through the smoke, there they are, just start shooting. You'll get them all. So then it goes to a big long cutscene where you end up back in the city. And your next move is to go to Sammy's bar. So you set the marker. <clears throat> Wanted to show you kind of the options that you got on here kill list, assets, your personal journal. And then you also got the collection. I'm not sure what this is yet, but. When I figure it out, I will let you guys know. But I believe they're collectibles for each little individual town and stuff. So nice little Sammy's car for play. Right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Driving's pretty fun. It's a little tricky. I missed my turn right there. Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say show. Sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. I like the uh, speedometer there, on. old school, like the 70s. So you need to watch your police awareness if they're going, if you're going too fast or you're hitting people and police are by. You know, the awareness goes up. That's pretty standard. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around aside, that was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgia says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. Man, they into some stuff, aren't they? Is it going almost 105 right there? I love that old school look of the speedometer. Like you'd see in old cars from like the 70s, 60s. Anyway, but you're heading back to the bar so you can talk to your to your dad and his crew and stuff. 
pretty standard. Lots, lots of story in the beginning, so there's, there's a lot of footage of story. So when you get done with that cutscene, uh, you're just supposed to go to bed. So something I figured out here on the PlayStation, uh, your touch button, if you hold that down, uh, you can see certain collectibles uh, or medic containers that you can find and get medical supplies or grab these these magazines uh, and there's a bunch of them laid around everywhere so all you gotta do is hold that down and you can see things let me see if I can show you there okay so you hold it down and you can see them if they're close by so when I figure out what these are all about I'm sure you can unlock trophies and stuff with them but I'll, I'll get that figured out for you guys but they start you off with a couple right in the in the basement here where you're staying. Playboy. Ooh. So anyway, then you just go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of my walkthrough here. Uh, I'm going to come with the second part here soon. But this is uh, my first couple of plays, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you join me for the next video. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking with me. I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.